Hi, this is Sieg Schmalz, Applications Engineer at Microchip Technology. When an electrical clock signal is generated in a system, it will radiate a certain amount of its energy into its surroundings. Sometimes, as is the case for a broadcast radio antenna, this is the desired result. There are times, however, when we do not want to transmit with the maximum radiated power. If a radio station is transmitting at, let's say, 100 megahertz with so much power that it interferes with another radio station of the same frequency some distance away, a receiver may produce an undesired mixture of the two radio stations when it converts the radio transmissions to sound. In other words, an electromagnetic wave from one radio station is interfering with a different electromagnetic wave generated by a different radio station. This is why we call the interference electromagnetic interference, or EMI. One solution to this EMI is to reduce the transmitting power of one radio station so that it is below the minimum power that a receiver can demodulate from RF to sound waves. So, how does this relate to PCIe? I am glad you asked! There are times when a PCIe clock may interfere with nearby clocks. Another clock may incorporate the radiated energy of the PCIe clock, thereby corrupting that other clock. The solution is to reduce the power at that PCIe clock frequency of, for example, 100 MHz, so that its radiated power is low enough not to corrupt the clocks in nearby systems. This principle is the reason that the PCIe standards provide spread spectrum clock specifications. Spread spectrum modulation is used to intentionally modulate the ideal position of the clock edge such that the resulting signal spectrum is spread around the ideal frequency of the clock. This has the advantage of reducing the peak amplitude of the EMI associated with the fundamental 100 MHz frequency of the signal. This plot shows a narrow band of the spectrum about 2.5 MHz above and below the 100 MHz carrier. The power amplitude at that frequency is 0.5 dBm or so. The next highest power peaks are located approximately 0.75 MHz on either side of the carrier. Because the amplitudes of these are significantly lower, these smaller power peaks can be ignored for the purposes of this discussion. In other words, they are below the detectable threshold of nearby systems. The high power of the carrier signal can result in radiated emissions and cause EMI if the circuit traces carrying the signals are not perfectly balanced and terminated. By modulating a clock with spread spectrum, High power in a single narrow frequency band is replaced with the lower power spread over a wider band. This reduces the EMI associated with the signal. The spread spectrum clock in this image, where we see it overlaid with the unmodulated clock, demonstrates the flattening of the power spectrum that spread spectrum modulation causes. In this example, a 30 kHz triangle wave with 0.5% down spread is used. The term down spread implies that the carrier is modulated to lower frequencies so that the maximum frequency of the spread spectrum signals equals the nominal clock frequency without spread. We see here that the spread spectrum modulation creates many spurs that can increase the RMS jitter by two or even three orders of magnitude. In the common clock architecture, the impact of this very large increase in reference clock RMS jitter is actually quite minimal. This is because the reference clock provided to the transmitter and receiver is modulated identically for both. As a result, the relative phase difference between the receive clock and transmit clock is virtually unchanged when compared to the phase difference one sees when an unmodulated clock is used. You may want to view the previous video in this series which explains this relative phase difference in more detail. Microchip has many PCIe compliant clock generators with spread spectrum capability such as the 3 output ZL30251, the 6 output ZL30282 or ZL30265, 
and the 10 output ZL30267. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like more information, feel free to visit our website at this link.